Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is highly requested. If you want to know how to move black marks out of your tile grout, carry on watching. I spoke in my previous video about black marks in the grout on my bathroom tiles and it's something that I have to keep up maybe every four or five weeks. I come in and I blast it. It's literally the shower area that gets affected the most. All the rest of the tiles are never affected. So if you just spin you around, I mean, to think that these are, you know, they're knocking on a bit. I think the, I don't want to exaggerate, but I think they're around 18 years old. We had the bathroom done when we first bought the property. I had the bathroom ripped out because it had a long bath and everything was just wrong for me. So I thought I'll have a corner bath, I'll put the toilet next to the sink and I'll have a sliding door because otherwise the door would have opened into the toilet and you can't have it opening into the wall because then if the bathroom door's opened, people can see us on the toilet. Who wants to see that? Anyway, so it was all tiled white. I picked the tiles and, you know, it worked. I'd be lying if I said it isn't working. It's still working now, you know. There's nothing wrong with the bathroom. It just needs updating. It's all old. The maintenance of these tiles drives me insane. There's no other word for it. I have to do this every few weeks and I'm just not in a position yet where I can have the bathroom ripped out and a new bathroom put in. I would love that more than anything but I just worry about not having a shower and a toilet. You know, there's three people living here. I've got the three dogs as well, and I worry about not having a toilet. So we were looking into doing a downstairs toilet, and if that comes off, then there's no problem doing the bathroom then. I just worry that we'd have no toilet while the work was being done. You know, how how is that gonna work out? So if we end up with a downstairs toilet, having the bathroom ripped out and redone is no bother. I just couldn't see it being the case that if the toilet was taken out, it could be put back in straight away, a new toilet, obviously. I just don't know how the process would work, so it's just stress that I don't need right now. But I'd love nothing more than to have a lovely bathroom, and I haven't got a lovely bathroom. So in the meantime, I have to make the best of what I've got, and this is becoming so monotonous. It drives me crazy doing it. But once it's done, it lasts for a few weeks, and it stays nice and white. The only problem that I have is where I've washed and washed and washed, it never becomes bright white anymore because I've exposed the brown layer on the tile where the grout should sit. So it obviously might need re-grout or whatever, but I've no idea even where to start with that. So I just carry on doing my little job of scrubbing it out. And the two ingredients that I use are bleach and bicarbonate of soda. And I only use a little bit. I'm gonna go through it all now with you so you can see. I mix it in a old deodorant lid and I store it behind the sink with the toothbrush that I use for cleaning. It's basically just that little lid, you can see it, it's just a little transparent, it's off a tin of Shore deodorant. And I use regular bicarbonate of soda and just regular bleach. And I mix them in this lid. I'm gonna show you exactly how much I use and exactly how I do it. So I just, You'll see it anyway once it's in. And I mix as I go. If I need a little bit more, I'll put a little bit more in. But I tend to just... And now, if I need a little bit more, I'll put a little bit more in. But you can just see. Get the bleach. And drop some in. Old toothbrush. Just to mix. Be careful with your clothes as well. But I literally just spin the brush around and once I've done that, we will start here. As you can see, in fact, I'm gonna, where I've exposed the brown of the tile, just here. That's actually the underneath of the tile where there's not much any grout, where there's not much grout left. And then down here, these are the marks that I'm tackling. Right, we're ready to go. Right. 
Now, I'm going to leave that to work. And it only takes a couple of minutes, it doesn't take long. As you can see, when I was putting it on, it starts working instantly. I'm just going to open the window. Just because I hate the smell of bleach, that's all it is. But, I mean, it's safe. It's not going to harm you. As much as I don't like the smell of bleach, it's safe to use up here. Um, you know, it doesn't give off anything toxic by mixing it with a bit of bicarb. It just makes it work faster. Um, it does the job. I want to stay on camera. I don't want to do too much editing because I want you to see that it literally only takes a couple of minutes. If you just spin yours, you'll see that it's already working. You know, a majority of that has gone. I need to be careful I'm not making any mistakes because I don't want to have to edit. But it literally takes five minutes and it's done. You know, I moan about having to do it, but it's not that hard really. And then I just get a cloth, whiz the cloth over it and that's it. I rinse it a little bit with the shower and it's done. You know, it removes that mark. The only problem is, is where I've done this for so long, I've rubbed the grout away, which is to be expected really, isn't it? Over 18 years, so <laughs> can't grumble really. But it's safe to use it, and that's the most important thing. I mean, you know, I would never use anything that's going to be toxic or anything like that. I always worry about the sprays that you get that remove that type of stuff because you just don't know what's in them. So I'd rather just use a little bit of bleach and a little bit of bicarb and know that the job's done. So as I've been rambling, I'd say it's pretty much done. Now, as you can see these marks, I'm going to leave it really zoomed in and I will take yours off when I show you, but that's just basically where there's no grout left in the tiles. So... Let me just rinse first of all. Let's see. literally wipe over when I've just washed right I'm going to swoop yours off let you have a little look and you will know what I mean. Now see the tile. That's actually the tile that you can see. It's not any marks. It's the brown underneath. Which is such a shame. But it's from years and years of cleaning. Gonna focus. So it's got rid of the marks out of the grout, as you can see, but it's just exposed more of the tile. Now the sad thing is, my tiles are never ever gonna look perfect because, like I say, there's no grout left in them. But if you do it on yours, they will come up lovely. I promise. It's just the fact that I've exposed tile where there's no grout left in the wall but I mean it looks a whole lot better than it did you know and that's the most important thing the I don't know whether it's like hard water marks or you know what it is I've no idea it's obviously something in the water and the shower gel that causes that you know I did leave that because I wanted you to be able to see it so you could see how it lifts off now it's not perfect but it does the job and I'm sure if you do it it will work out so much better so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a lovely day everyone.